Brick Addicts Lego lovers, ladies and gentlemen from all over the world. Welcome back. It's been a long time since we've been on camera. And boy, has the world been crazy lately. So we're here to make your life a little bit easier. Show you some exciting stuff we've got going on. Tell you a little bit about what we've been up to. And give you some inspiration and hope for the future. Today, I'm going to take you behind the scenes of one of the biggest Lego designer and builders in the world. So today, I'm going to show you a little bit about what brings these sets to life. From the actual parts and pieces and to when we start building them and we turn them into masterpieces. Can anyone guess what this is going to be? That one there is going to be a Target store. What's that one going to be? Anybody know? White Castle. Papa John's, I think. <laughs> I've even lost track. All right, what's this one going to be? Anybody know? Comment below if you think you know what that one's going to be. Pizza Hut. Everybody's got to know that just because that blue thing's sitting out front. And that one's going to be a Domino's. This one here, the full-scale Apple Store. And the parts. Look at that plethora of parts. In fact, we just got a new shipment in, so I think I'll include you all in sorting this stuff. As the sets are being built, everything is just kind of in one central location. So, for example, we got the beige pieces. There's a mixture of basically mainly stuff like the cups, so those cylinder pieces and round pieces, those become things like paint cans, or also in sets like this, they will go on the counters and be uh, like drink cups, things like that. Lots of cones in there. Right here we've got our bigger pieces, which uh, are used for counters, benches to sit on. And uh, of course the target gets a lot of these. So this area here is gonna be built up with these. Then the sticker will go on the front, on the back side. Kinda like that. Sticker. And these pieces here, the panels, are what we build most of the sets out of. So most of these sets have a panel. And each of our minis have a clear translucent panel. Uh, another batch of miscellaneous. And then those are our, uh, those are awnings. Those parts go for awnings, menu boards, things like that. Over here, we've got some more rare pieces. So for example, these I ordered in off color. They were a little cheaper. And that is what the carpet displays are on for the Home Depot. And then in there you've got some of the parts for, for example, those red pieces. They're gonna go along the front as pillars. What else we got? Let's see. Ah, the red Chick-fil-A gets those for the awnings. Of course, these types of pieces right there. And the Home Depot is completely built with those types. And the fun parts. Bricks. Which we've got a lot more to add. Well, let's see. Tops for cups. McDonald's gets a lot of those. Windows, which all sets get that. Home Depot's got a whole plethora of those. More doors. Well, let's see. I think our Chipotle gets that one. And yes, I do have to cheat sometimes and look at our own pictures of past sets that we built just to kind of see what's what. Dunkin' Donuts gets these. Uh, Subway gets the wider ones, which of course, uh, inside this is where the salad bar goes. Doors. All of the sets get door frames, as you'll see. 
And we pretty much go with the color white, except for Target, of course, which is made in color red, and Home Depot, which has black doors. We've got to stay stocked on all this stuff. And cabinets. You'll see here, all of the sets have cabinets. Different layout in each one, of course. Still got to add dominoes. Some of the bigger sets don't have cabinets, like the uh, Apple Store and the Target. Home Depot, we're gonna add a couple more in there. In our sets, we got flat pieces there, and then, of course, the fronts get uh, kind of like the concrete look. These here are used for displays, racks and things like that, which you'll see there holding up the DeWalt. These parts here go to the drink stations, which will go right there in the dead center of the screen. We're gonna have a drink station right there. Chairs, lobby chairs, which are also color coordinated. The Pizza Hut will have red lobby chairs and probably black tabletops. And then we've got tools and wheelbarrows, dollies, toilets, uh, pizza. Let's get this box. Let's see what all we got. So we got some bricks and some red cones. I love his packaging. It's absolutely great packaging. Got some more here. Let's see. Uh, some parts for dominoes. Over there to the left. Some flat pieces. These are going to be on the fronts right there is where those are good to give it that concrete look. Some ladders and some pieces for Home Depot. What a nice packaging job. Lots and lots of cones. Got some hinge pieces. We've got some uh, chicken, some brown chairs. These types of pieces here go to the Home Depot. They're big pillars. You didn't think I'd let you guys out of here without actually seeing some of these set stickers, did you? White Castle, Papa John's, Taco Bell, Pizza Hut, Post Office, Domino's, Apple Store over there, still in progress. Home Depot slightly still in progress, Target. Let's take a look at the insides. White Castle, Papa John's, Taco Bell, Pizza Hut, Post Office, and Domino's. So there we go. You know what? If you guys guessed these right, when they were in progress, then you win. <laughs> Be proud of yourselves. Got some more red cylinder parts or round parts. Target. And then some just basic blocks, some black flat pieces. Lots of door frames, which we were short on this color here. So now we're not. It's more of those. Some red ones and also some translucent window panels and lots more tile pieces. Love that. So as I sort these, I'll be uh, cutting these open and putting them in there. Ah, more bricks. Love that. Love those pieces. All of our sets, well, I should say, the majority of our sets get the bricks in the front like that. And then, of course, Home Depot has a few bricks out front, just for decoration. These parts here are pretty important to us as well. The majority of our sets have those in some variation. The Taco Bell as well, there's a little trick that's got a, a one by two. And that's what holds that on. And then of course, Taco Bell goes right there. That set's got the same thing. All right. And then some two by threes. 
sight for sore eyes right there because I was almost out of those. Side windows, which most all of the sets have that. Even the post office. And we've got a ton of these. This, uh, let's see, tons and tons of tile pieces, it looks like. And some White Castle parts. See right there. All right, some more, uh, let's see, dominoes. We've got a, a front section that's gonna be built right there. It's gonna have the domino sign on it. And um, Home Depot, of course. Dunkin' Donuts also gets those colors there. Oh yeah, more of those. I love those two by two tiles. Um, Home Depot's get these. Subway is kind of a greenish color, which I'm not doing a subway at the moment. And a little bit of a variety there. Got some uh, White Castle, some Domino's, and uh, some Home Depot, some Taco Bell even. Taco Bell. These parts go right there. So as you look at all of this, just think, okay, all of these sets are different in some way. In fact, if you look right back there, we go focus in, that is some parts for Walmart. So we got a Walmart we're gonna have to do as well. All of these parts, all of these pieces for all of these sets, and we probably got about 60 more types of sets. They, uh, they are all built in a particular way. We've gotta know where they all go. So it's not an easy task, but it is a fun task. I should show you this too, since this is an all access tour. Orange, tons of orange. Orange is popular color, Dunkin' Donuts, Taco Bell, Home Depot. They all get a bunch of orange. This here is our Domino's bin. Some of the, um, these, uh, whatever they're called, hinge type pieces. A whole big basket of that. Domino's, I think it's the only one that gets blue of that. Over here is a few of our stickers. Got a Home Depot sticker, Subway, Pizza Hut, Got ink, because we're about out of ink. Which, if you've ever heard me talk before, the stickers is what brings the magic. Compare these sets, which we call these the raw sets, because they're not stickered yet, to something like this. Big difference, stickers bring the magic. It's been a while since we've done a behind the scenes type of video. Seeing just how we do it, just how we make the magic happen. Everybody, we hope you had a great holiday and have a great next holiday that's coming up. And we will see all of you very soon, right here on Brick Attic.